Alright today guys we're just going to cover our, the Hilux install with one of our video units. Um, so this is a 2005, so basically from 2005 to 2015, on those like edge years it could be a bit of a, a, like a crossover, but uh, basically the install process is going to be the same. Um, this whole uh, like dash uh, bit will look this will look the same. Uh, like the only like difference will be in like the SR5 like, versions, they'll have like a, a climate control here instead of dials, on the, and they will have like a full screen because they could have like a factory reverse camera. And around 2010, 11, I think you'll see uh, the uh, the dials change on these uh, sort of the set in dials, the actual like twist knobs. Um, so we've got like, models to cover all of those because the frame is slightly different f uh, for both, but the install process will be the same. So we'll start off with obviously uh, what you uh, get in the kit. Like it does look like there is a bit of stuff here, but once we explain it all, it'll all make sense. So basically we'll start with the um, adapter kit right first. So you get your uh, like a black plug here that's going to plug into the back of our head units. And you've got all these white plugs on this side that are going like, to plug into your car's uh, like factory plugs. So they'll only plug in where they go and like sometimes you'll have like some that you're not actually uh, like using they're just there to cover uh, all different uh, like models there is a yellow one in here which if you have like, a factory reverse camera it should cover you for that auxiliary you're not going to be using and that is about it so that is the, uh, the ease adapter cable which just allows it to be sort of like a plug and play install so you don't have to like chop or like solder or anything. You've got a brown pin a cable here which is actually for auxiliary in uh, for our head unit so we're not going to use this. You've got a grey six pin uh, cable with two yellow RCAs on it so you are going to use this so uh, the purple one are we going to put uh, like either your factory reverse camera into or our kit uh, does come with a 1080p uh, aftermarket camera that you can see is adjustable here so that wire will run along the cab and I'll plug into here now uh, the other one in here is for a second camera input if you want to run up a, a front camera or a second camera on a canopy or something with our white 10 pin uh, plug here that will go into the back of our uh, head unit into the auxiliary uh, ports and it has two USBs in it and external microphone we have a USB adapter cable. If your car does have like a USB already installed somewhere in the center console or dash, you will plug this into this on the car side. And the other end here will go into one of our two USBs here. And that will allow you to keep that our factory USB port. We've got our pre-outs, which are for if you're running like an amplifier. Um, so we will be releasing our like speaker packs, all these like models as well. So our, our, our Hilux is pretty much our, like all models definitely do need a um, the speaker pack, but for now you won't be using it. A long antenna here. This is like your Wi-Fi antenna, so you can just I'll like screw this on and I like leave it I like floating around the back. It just like helps us if we want to run like long range like Wi-Fi camera or something. We could mount this up the top of the windscreen, um, but at the moment we're just sort of future proofing it there, so it's just there at the moment. Now your GPS. So you just want to have this mounted so it gets a clear view of the sky, um, and that just screws into the back of the head unit. A third USB port. So this plugs into like the back of our, our head unit and gives you like a third USB port. So like handy to plug our dash camera into if you want to run that off there. Or the, we'll have some other accessories as well. Trim removal tools. Just like the lady like to pop the dash off easily. Our OBD2 scan tool. Plugs into your car's OBD2 port. Connects to the head unit via Bluetooth. And you can pick up engine ECU data. Check and clear faults on the engine ECU and things like that. Uh, like the camera, so you get like a 5 metre cable that comes with it that should cover like most uh, cars, like utes, sorry. Um, you got a red and a white wire here that go to uh, your plus and a negative of your reverse lights. So you just need to like splice into those. 
the obviously like the DC port will plug into like the camera port and the yellow one here plugs into uh, the yellow one right here and then this the other end will plug into the back of the head unit and the trigger wire here will con <laughs> I will connect to our like, orange and black uh, wire coming from the back of the head unit that says reverse in and you can see that's a 1080p color camera like AHD which I'll mount so up like that way so it gives you a fairly good range of movement of how you want to mount it now the bigger stuff we've obviously got the actual complete unit here um, so that's what it looks like the back of the unit so that's when we talk about like a main uh, 20 pin plug our auxiliary plugs our Wi-Fi antenna GPS antenna and the FM antenna. Now you see this uh, bit down here is actually blank. So the frame is the same. So if it comes with like the dial control or like the SR5R climate control. So you choose which one you need to use. And uh, it's like a sticker pack here to go into the dial control. So, as like a highlight, it's a good thing about them, fairly straightforward install. First thing you want to do is pull off your knobs, like that. There's a screw in here, we just want to unscrew that. Obviously your Phillips head. So undo that Phillips head screw. This one's a little bit, I might have to put a little bit of pressure on this as I unscrew it because it's not coming out. So just put your finger in there, put a bit of pressure on the case. So you can see I've already popped the case off a bit anyway. So on these cars, actually, if you put your fingers under both the air vents, get like a wiggle on both sides, you'll find everything comes out fairly easily. Um, they are normally like that. And you've got your hazard and your AC buttons, just have two plugs behind them. And just the clips you got to push down on top of them. Pull out the plug, sorry. So, that's the whole face you come out, just like that. Fairly straightforward. Those are the two plugs. One push down on top, one push down on the bottom. There and there. Then here's a head unit. That's how easy it was. So you got one, two, three, four, uh, ten mil, uh like screws that we're going to... Uh, have to undo. Ten mil. Pretty much all stereos always seem to be ten mil. On these tires. Just do note, no, don't love it, but about noting. So once you've done that, basically just give the head unit a wiggle, it'll pull out and you'll see all the red dust in the back here. We have an antenna cord on this model, 
We have a 10 pin plug and we have our 6 pin Toyota plug, I would think. So, those come out like that. There's the old unit removed. Here's our two plugs, that's all we've got going on here. So now we're going to obviously put this from the back into here. A um, bit annoying, and in, in, uh, in like this uh, kit we actually did the wrong uh, like sticker pack. So like normally we have the correct uh, like, like sticker packs, like the first thing you'll do is you'll be uh, putting these like stickers on, on here to cover up this. So once those uh, like stickers are on, then you can uh, pop this in. Fairly straightforward. Come from the back. It just clips in to all these clips in the back. Make sure they all line up. Push it around. And that's that clipped in now. So that's what it, it uh, like looks like. All clipped in. Obviously, don't have a sticker, but you would be putting a sticker on there. Then, from the back of the old unit, we just have to grab a few things. So we need to uh, take out the switches. So, one screw, two screw, one screw, two screw, and the clips here. One, it should be one in here. Two, three, four clips that are coming out with it. And also the air vents. So you can see these like air vents have the clips on the side here, so you just need to pull these clips back as you pop it off. Now we'll like pop off. And the switches just have two little clips you can see on either side. So the switches are like uh, do push out from the front, so you just put like you put pressure on the front. They have two little clips on either side, and they pop out like that. So they both have the same set out. The two little clips keep the pressure on it as you're pushing it back. You're popping the clips in, and they'll just pop out like that. Obviously, try and remember which side went to what. So AC was on the like right hand side and has it on the, the left-hand side as you're looking at the unit. Now the other thing we need to get off the back of these is our clips. Factory clips are always pretty good, so we keep using those. And normally if you see a screwdriver until one side, you can just lever them off. So go around and take off all our four clips. One, two, three, four. And then we have our air convents here. So you can see on the side here, you can see they've got one, two, three clips. And there's a clip on the inside. So you can see <laughs> popped out pretty easy there. Again, as you look at it, put it back on the right side. It does say on here what side it's for anyway. Um, pop off the other one. One, two. The clips on the other side as well. And that'll pop out. So you just have the clip on there on the other side. Sorry, there's just that clip there and a clip in the top here. So that'll pop out pretty easy. So that's everything you have to take off the old frame. Now you go ahead and put it onto the new frame, so you can I'll rest this on the type of foam that uh, comes in the kit or the bag, whatever's handy. So as we were looking at that pops in, as it pops in. Clips. Our clips will clip on, so they just push back over. So one, 
two, three, uh, four, and then it's our air vents. So again, they are exactly the same as the factory ones. So how you took them off is how it goes back on. Normally you slide that top corner in first. You can vent on the other side. Get the little dial going down in there. Might just have to pop out the brackets just to get them started. Yeah, another one pops in. So now we've got a unit, we've got buttons here. Ah, and good. I paid attention, I put the buttons on the wrong side, so I need to swap those buttons around. Which I'll do right now. So then once it's all done, yeah, you see has a button in there vents are your vents in there so it's all looking like a fairly smick looking uh, unit now now I can go and put it back in the car so now we'll just grab our these adapter kit um, get on the white plugs is what you're after for the car side a lot of them aren't going to be used here because this is a 2005 so it first changed over so all we're looking for is the plugs that match the other plugs they can only plug into what they can plug into so can't go too wrong here and that's it two plugs um we also had the antenna the radio antenna i actually gave everything oh, oh. oh wow. normally give everything oh, oh, a white if it has been around the red dust or something a bit because otherwise when you're dealing with it, your hands get filthy and you touch like the new gear so that's it for this one um on some other like models you'll be plugging in these other four like plugs you have here but on, on like this one we're not so that's fine it's easy done so now what we will do is we'll just plug in the head unit and just test that we have well uh, uh, like so uh, we normally test for uh, sound uh, steering wheel controls which we don't have in this uh, like model so we don't have to sound steering wheel controls reverse camera and radio so that's what we normally test for when we do our first test but on here we are uh, i'm like missing a few things so again you can see our case here comes in uh, gloss black which we think uh, does look quite good you can if you're not like happy with that our customers do take these off and you can actually like, paint them um, up to you but you can see it's pretty hard to get this grey uh, textured uh, finish that the Hiluxes actually have so on the back here we're going to plug our 20, ton, our 20 pin harness into here and our antenna into here and that's all we're going to do so black one into there Antenna into the antenna one. Well, pretty straightforward, really. Sit the unit in there. Just so you can hold it in there. Turn the car on. Find the keys. So the first time the head unit powers up you will see this uh, video um, from uh, like, uh, like then on it will uh, quick boot so you won't have to uh, like worry about it uh, taking its time to boot up but that's just because it's the first time it's been powered up uh, 
All right, so. I actually did notice this Hilux had, had a terrible antenna. Um, anyway, um, doesn't pick up very many stations. So I don't know if that's just this car or if like, all of them have bad antennas. Um, it actually seems like better on this unit already. So straight away we can see we've got a volume there. That's good. Our radio is working. Um, an older one like this could be good for a DAB module, uh, which you put the antenna up on the windscreen on the side because the reception on this was pretty crap. Uh, we'd normally do like steering wheel controls, we don't have, so we don't have to test those. Reverse camera isn't hooked up, so we don't have to have to do that. But uh, once we have re hooked up our after unlike a, re a, re a like reverse uh, camera, we will do that. After we put it on like, properly, we will do check the hazards in the AC. Um, so that's all the checks done, that seems fine. So you see if I power the car off now and then turn it like back on, you see how quick it boots up because it just goes into sleep mode. So that's all good. So we'll take that out, unplug it. As you can see, the install is pretty straightforward. So that's basically that there now. So just to cover again to uh, we'd put the air vents from uh, the like original one on air vents uh, four plastic clips the like, yellow clips and the two hazard switches um, and then we chose uh, like this one obviously we don't have the correct uh, like sticker for the front in this kit so your kit will have the correct sticker that's fairly straightforward you like stick it on the front and now we're just going to grab our few things here so here we have like, the, sort of the Wi-Fi as I said before this one we can just leave floating around the back Screw that on, so you do it up tight with your hands, fairly easy. GPS, so we want to mount this somewhere where it's uh, going to get a good view of the sky um, without any steel above it. So if we have a, so some of our customers find if you like, do mount them a bit further forward, it does work better. Um, just depends what car you have. So on here you could mounted out the back up here I don't know if you can see up there but if we go all the way up here and we there's a bit of like a plastic we can actually like stick it on and then all that is above it is this plastic little dash here and so it'll be sitting underneath the dash around about here so it's getting a fairly good uh, uh, view of the sky without the roof in the way so that's where we will uh, uh, stick the GPS so that is easy you just have to Peel the stick pad off like the back of it and stick it down. And then the other end screws into here. Fairly easy. This one here is our camera. Plugs into the far side here. These auxiliaries can only fit again when they fit into because they can only fit into how many, how many pins they have. But just check you do put them in like the, like the, like the right one. So six pins goes into one of six pins. We're going to be using the cam in here to either plug into your uh, factory uh, camera, which if that uh, was the case, it would be plugging into uh, uh, like this one here coming off the harness. Um, if you are, are you using our aftermarket uh, uh, camera, it will uh, plug into uh, a different one, which is just the extension cord, which I will show you in a second. We'll plug in our two USBs and our external microphone. Again, can only fit into the one it can fit into. Push that in, make sure it clips in. So you want to run both of these so they pop out somewhere handy. Um, you will be using these either if you if you obviously run any one of our dash cams off it, you can just obviously leave it behind there. Um, otherwise, you'll want to tuck them out somewhere. If you have got a factory USB in one of like your rocker switches or something here. Um, it like will come with a retention cable to keep that so I did show that at the start in the kit otherwise what we actually like will do is we will uh, we will include in our kits uh, um, a two USB port to uh, uh, plug into this rocker switch here so if your kit has one that's good if not we haven't quite got it sussed yet and it'll be uh, uh, coming and you will be able to buy it afterwards and just like fit it in anyway but it'll give you two USBs, one of them will be like a pass-through USB, so that means it'll just pretty much extend off one of these. And uh, the other one will 
hook direct into positive and uh, negative and it'll become a quick charge 3.0 for your phone so you can actually charge it quickly so that'll be in the kit in the future um, if it is not in there already when you are watching this video third USB again just plug this in pretty much and leave it hanging behind the unit um, or it, it'll come in handy, handy in, in like the future um, we've got like a, a USB modem coming in and also uh, some TPMS stuff which will I uh, use USB this would be the adapter uh, cable if your car did have a factory USB plug on it, which this one does not. So that's basically all we have to uh, hook up now. So we're going to put the unit back in, and we'll just have to plug in the antenna and that. And that's basically the whole install almost done. Now I'm just going to jump in here because this is about the uh, reverse camera. So if your car doesn't have one, which majority of the, your Hiluxes probably will, I won't, um, you'll be installing the aftermarket the one that comes in the kit otherwise you'll be using uh, the video retention cable that uh, comes in the kit and the like, factory one will uh, work so up to you where you uh, mount the camera but it has to mount uh, like, up like this way so obviously it can go wherever really um, on like this car here I would probably say you would end up uh, putting it up here or something like that and tucking uh, the cord behind like, the number plate there's a, I like, there's a piece of uh, like bar up there that actually already has a few holes in it, so you could use that. Just obviously drop like the tailgate down, like make sure it isn't going to hit it uh, where you do mount it. And you want to be able to see uh, your tow ball obviously and behind you, so uh, good for backing up and checking behind you. Some people do like to uh, like mount it down by like, the trailer uh, plug down here, as you can spl uh, like, splice into the uh, like the uh, into the brake light signal in here. And like the negative um, so that's what these two wires are going to connect to out of the brake light uh, like positive and like and negative so you can either take that off the uh, trailer pin or off a trailer plug or you can take it from the back of of the of the light there and like sorry I think I was saying a brake light there I mean reverse light so take it off the reverse light uh, positive and out uh, negative which can be taken off a trailer plug or directly off the lights so that's all that done then this one here you have to get with the green trigger cable on it you have to get to behind like the head unit so you want to obviously uh, like have that all like set up and tested before you put the head unit uh, like back in so on on here we normally suggest just run it down with some other uh, like wires which you can see here there's some wires in a conduit just trace those all the way down um, and then you want to find where they go into the cab so you can copy it you'll be looking uh, for like a grommet like that but obviously not there um, so normally that will be uh, like sitting uh, depending on your car will be on the firewall or underneath are the seats just to obviously uh, like show you once that reverse camera uh, has been run in you have your yellow rca cable here this is from the reverse camera our after, uh, aftermarket one that's going to plug into the purple cam in plug so you plug uh, like <laughs> those two in together you can see that's into that gray like gray like six pin one and then this other green wire and our harness here we have an orange and black wire that's called a uh, like reverse in see reverse in is on there this is the only sort of like joining you have to do so just uh, join those two uh, wires together so the green and like the orange uh, to test it's all like working at the start you can you can just uh, like strip them and uh, like twist them and like tape them and then uh, uh, like once you're happy with that you can uh, like chop them connect them uh, like properly uh, handy connectors to use are even just the telephone gel filled ones that are just uh, like a crimp ones you just like squash them in there but just whatever you have handy to connect those up and then before you put the head unit obviously back in test that the camera's working so that's basically it all done so plug in the 20 pin power plug and the FM antenna plug if you are installing a, like a dash cam obviously now is a good time to do it too so you don't have to pop it out again but you can see 
isn't that hard to actually pop them, like the units in and out, tuck all the wires back and behind there. These two, so like your GPS wheel, we're going to like stick up the back on top of there. The antenna you can just leave floating loose. And then just push it in and give the whole unit a push around and you'll hear all those clips will clip in. So that's all good. What I didn't actually do then is you just need to obviously make sure you plug in like the AC and you know, like the hazard switches. Turn the car back on. Again, uh, do your check. So check the unit up. Is that going to power up? check the AC switch, check the hazard switch, check you got like sound, if you put in a reverse camera check that the reverse camera is like working, check your steering wheel controls if your car has it, and that's like basically it, that's like, that's like the unit installed, put your little screw back in here, again we're missing the good looking labels on here because Conveniently didn't have it We had the wrong one in our kit, so yeah. Always handy too just to Remember which switch was which switch So again, these switches can only go in the way that they were installed as well. Actually, Just actually take your time and have a look at them. Always a good tip. Um, there you go. This was actually like <laughs> missing like the inside outside slider already. But there you have it. That is the Hilux uh, unit installed. So again, it's going to fit from 2005 to 2015. Uh, both those edge years can be a uh, uh, like sort of like border years, and uh, the differences are. Up to 2010 or like 11, I think you have the, uh, sort of these type of like dials. Um, past then, you have like the sticky out uh, like knob, so it actually has two different like models. So just check the title of our units. Um, and the SR5 version will have a different like, insert here. It will have the uh, climate control insert, and the only other difference is some of like, the wires at the back, which we would have talked about before, which will give you different options. There you have it, all installed, obviously missing our stickers on here, but that will be in your kit.